Every day, every hour, it seems, there's more news about the coronavirus outbreak. No doubt these are challenging times, frightening times even. But may I suggest that we were made for this. We've all been through tough times in our life and come out the other side stronger for it. Because God nurtures and forms within us a determined hope. We were made for this. As the news pours in, we experience anxiety and fear and our imaginations run wild with worry. But let's remember two promises from Scripture. The first is one we don't often think about when we think of promises in the Bible, but in Genesis 2 and verses 1 through 3, we remember that God rested over creation. In the ancient Near East, when uh, a king would rule over a land, he would often build a statue and inscribe upon the statue that I rest over this city or this country. And Sabbath rest is all about pausing once a week to remember that God rests over his creation. God is not anxious. Another promise comes from Genesis 12, and it's the end of God's promise to Abraham, where God tells Abraham that all the peoples on earth will be blessed through you. We're called to be a blessing. In times like these, we often hear and use the quote from Mr. Rogers that when the news is scary, look for the helpers. We need to remember that this quote was given to children. And so those of us who aren't children anymore, we are the helpers. Don't just look around for them. Be the helper. Be a blessing to our neighbors. Instead of letting our imagination run wild with worry, let us be creative in how we can help and be there for our neighbors, even while we keep distance from them. And as we think of ideas and, and help our neighbors, let's share our stories to inspire all of us to be a blessing, to be a helper. And so every day, let's take a few minutes to rest. Let's rest in God's presence. And when we do, we remember that God is not anxious. That yes, there are hard things happening. There are harder things on the horizon. But God's future is also on the horizon. And as we rest in God, let's come out of that time of rest, determined to be the helper, to be a blessing to our neighbors. Let's remember that we were made for this. Take care.